and it's not too difficult to teach. And there are a few ways to teach this. One of the ways that I like teaching this is first teach back up, then teach spin, and then focus on combining those two tricks. I'm really going to take advantage of the fact that Venus is so focused on the frisbee here. So Venus, come here. Very good. Let go. Put it this way. Yes. I mean, you can teach back up like this. Very good. By having something that they like and move it behind them. See, she's backing up there. Also, walking towards her teaches her to back up. So it's back up, back up, back up. Good. Obviously rewarding her with her currency, the frisbee. Good, let go. Good, back up, back up. Good, now taking advantage of that focus, come here. Stay this way, good. So I kind of combine those. It's kind of like spin, back up, you see? Uh, a lot of people would use food with this because that's what their dog focuses on most. Another way that you might want to try this is just luring your dog through your legs initially just to teach them the concept of going between your legs. So in conclusion, it's spin, spin, then it's spin back up. It could take anywhere between a few days and a few weeks to teach this to your dog depending on your current level of communication with them. But as long as you keep it fun for them and you really cater to what their desire is, then you should teach this sooner rather than later. We'll see you next time. Reverse.